Good morning, and welcome to Carolina's Medical Center. I'm Vicki Block, Market President of the Central Division, and I'm honored to be here. This is an incredible day for us. On this day, October 7th, 1940, Charlotte Memorial Hospital opened its doors for the first time. That marks the beginning of what would become Atrium Health. Today, we celebrate 80 years of health, hope, and healing for all. We are Atrium Health, and we are 80 years strong. Before we continue with the rest of the morning's events, we want to pause for a very special 80th anniversary Connect to Purpose. Here at Atrium Health, we start most meetings with a moment that helps us remember our purpose, the reason we do what we do. Although I've only been an Atrium Health teammate for a year and a half, I can attest to what an incredible place this is to work. And it's incredible because of the people who work here. Our teammates are one of the main reasons we've been around for 80 years. We are strong because of our teammates. And so I'm honored to introduce everyone to some of the teammates who have helped make Atrium Health what it is today. Hi, I'm Diane Barnett, and I've been Atrium Health strong for 47 and a half years. and I am Atrium Health Strong for 42 years. I have been Atrium Health Cabrera Strong for 41.7 years in laboratory services. I'm Cindy Harbasevich, and I've been Atrium Health Strong for 35 years. I'm Bonnie Summers, and I've been Atrium Health Strong for 44 years. Good morning. I'm Chan Rausch, Vice President and Facility Executive for Carolina's Medical Center. I've been an Atrium Health teammate for 22 years, and I'm so honored to be here celebrating our 80th anniversary. This setup, like so many things this year, is a bit unusual for a birthday party, but we could not let this day go by without honoring this moment. Throughout the morning, you're going to be hearing about how we are 80 years strong. I wanted to talk about one specific thing that I think makes us strong, and that is our talents at collaboration. That tradition, that spirit of collaboration, goes back to our very beginning when Charlotte Memorial Hospital was founded after the people of Charlotte came together and demanded more. They wanted better health care in the city. On the screen, you'll see some of the images taken from the first years of our existence. You'll see just how much has changed. In the middle of the Great Depression, one of the most challenging times in our history, this group actually managed to raise money and find resources. Their mission from the very beginning was to provide the highest level of care for all. Working together as a team and providing the best care for all, collaboration around the common mission has been our homework for eight decades. In eight decades, our organization has grown from one hospital building in Uptown Charlotte to a network that includes 35 hospitals and hundreds of care locations. What we now call Carolina's Medical Center is home to the region's only level one trauma center. 
all because a group of people came together and demanded better for everyone. In 80 years, we've had years with challenges, firsts in innovations, including World War II, the polio epidemic, the advent of organ transplants, and the digitization of our lives. But I think we can all agree that 2020 has been a pretty unique year in our history. During the COVID-19 response, Atrium Health has played a key role, not only treating those who need care, but in providing guidance to local and state officials, to school systems, and to sports partners. To share more about our COVID-19 work, please welcome Dr. Jean Chai, the president of the medical staff at Carolina's Medical Center. Thanks, Chan. Like you, I'm a longtime Atrium Health teammate. In fact, I've been here for 10 years. And I can say from firsthand experience that our teammates and our ability to collaborate does indeed make us strong. We are also strong because of cutting edge technology and our ability to provide the best care in the Charlotte region. The COVID-19 pandemic has tested each of us, personally and professionally. You'll see on the screen some of the images from throughout the COVID-19 response. This pandemic has touched us all in different ways. It has meant long hours, wearing masks and PPE, taking extra precautions to protect our patients, our families, and ourselves. All this while trying to learn how to battle this new disease. It hasn't been easy, but we are strong and each day we're learning more. We think this year is the pinnacle of our strength. Atrium Health has been vital to our region's response to COVID-19. We brought much needed testing resources to underserved communities and helped lead a massive private-public partnership to distribute millions of free masks. Our teams have found new ways to help treat patients through virtual care with the creation of a virtual hospital. To help families stay connected, we turn to our technologies such as iPads, baby monitors, video chats, and connection nurses to help patients feel close to their loved ones even if they couldn't be with them in person. And now we're leading the way in new treatments and research as we help in the efforts to develop a vaccine aimed at the prevention of COVID-19. We aren't done yet. We've been paving the way for 80 years and we'll keep paving the way for the next 80 years. We're also strong because we aren't in this alone. Our community partnerships, business and government leaders, and generous donors have always joined with us to find ways to improve the health of our entire region. So now we're gonna hear from one of those community members who has helped make us so strong. I'm Jim Hines. I had the good fortune in 1981 to be asked to be on the board of what was then Memorial Hospital. Atrium Health is strong today because number one of our mission, our mission is years ahead of most of the healthcare system and understanding that we are for all. You know, Atrium didn't happen by accident. We started with community leaders. We started with management. We started with physicians. We started with nurses. We started with support staff. We started with anyone that could touch healthcare and make Atrium a bigger asset to the community. After all, it's about one patient at a time, how that patient is, is treated and how that patient is taken care of. I would suggest to you that Atrium is the community center in terms of being community oriented and taking care of all people. I can tell you that I have felt more gratification for my experience at Atrium than anything outside my family in my life. The opportunity to be involved in helping other people, and I'm sure that goes all the way through the organization. And most people feel that way either consciously or subconsciously because it is indeed a privilege to have been and to be involved with Atrium. The people who touch the patients and take care of the patients 
are what makes Atrium so special. And I thank you today for allowing me to express my great gratitude and excitement about having been and continuing to be involved with Atrium. Jim, thank you so much for that wonderful message. And thank you for your service to our community and to Atrium Health. We also have a very exciting announcement. Charlotte Mayor Vi Lyles has officially proclaimed today as Atrium Health Day. The mayor also sent us a special message for all of you and for our president and CEO, Gene Woods. Hello, from the Charlotte Mayor's office, I'm Vi Lyles, and it is such a joy for me to acknowledge a very special anniversary for one of the best partners a city could ever ask for. On behalf of the city of Charlotte, I want to wish a happy 80th birthday to Atrium Health. Your contributions to our city are immeasurable, and we are a better city because of what you do. Congratulations on reaching this milestone. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Gene Woods. I'm CEO of Atrium Health, and it's great to be with you uh, to celebrate this amazing day together. Uh, first, let me say what an incredible proclamation by our mayor, uh, Vi Lyles. Uh, mayor, thank you so much for being part of our celebration and for being such a great friend of Atrium and just for being such a wonderful servant leader for this community. Now, this is a very special and significant chapter in the Atrium history book. Time and time again over the years, since our humble beginnings in 1940, we have faced down so many challenges as an organization, including rising from the ashes of the Great Depression. But no matter the hurdle, what the team here has demonstrated is that no hill is too high to climb on behalf of our patients, our neighbors, and each other. And let me say that not a day goes by that I'm not personally inspired by the selfless, uh, dedicated and courageous human beings uh, that you would ever meet in any walks of life. This has been especially evident over the past six months as we've courageously battled COVID, uh, as we've stood up for uh, racial justice and endured significant economic hardship. Yet despite it all, you have displayed a strength of spirit that has never made me more Atrium Health proud. And Perhaps more than ever before, I feel that our mission, the mission that we live internally every single day, has transcended beyond our walls and into every single corner of our community. It reminds me of a quote by Dr. Martin Luther King, who said that everybody can be great because everybody can serve. You don't need to have a college degree to serve. You don't need to make your subjects and your verbs agree to serve. You only need a heart full of grace and a soul generated by love. And, and that's what I believe makes every teammate here at Atrium great. Uh, almost daily I hear from patients who come to us in very fragile conditions that what gets them through in addition to the world-class care that we provide is the warmth of our humanity that shines through as our team cares for our patients, body, mind, and spirit. So on this day, we not only celebrate the hundreds and thousands of lives that Atrium has served these past 80 years, but, and that we continue to serve every single day. But what we celebrate is what we are becoming. And it's remarkable to think that we touch a life every single two seconds. So think about that for a moment. That's every time you blink. And what we are excited about on this birthday is the many more lives that we will serve in so many more communities in the years ahead. So as we celebrate, the 80th anniversary of who we were, who we are, and who we are becoming, I wanna thank every single Atrium Health teammate for your selfless drive, your indomitable spirit, and your self steadfast resilience. Thank you for everything you do day in and day out to improve health, elevate hope, and advance healing for all as we celebrate the remarkable team that is Atrium Health. And now it is my pleasure to give you a sneak peek of what is in store for Atrium Health as we continue our relentless pursuit of excellence with heart and with grace.
Thank you all for joining us today to celebrate. But most of all, thank you for your continued hard work and dedication through even the most unusual of times. You are indeed what makes Atrium Health what it is today. You are what makes us 80 years strong. And you are what will make us strong for another 80 years. Happy Atrium Health Day. With this, our celebration um, comes to an end, and we'll give you back just a few moments um, in your morning and your day. And we, once again, thank all of you for joining us and hope that you have a very, very happy and wonderful Atrium Health Day. Thank you.